uh, allowing other people to speak their thoughts. You know, lots of times we have these kind of meetings. It is always the dignitaries and blah, blah. All right. No, 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 no. The people are the power. And we got to be aware that everybody can play a role so we can get the whole <laughs> understanding. Because this is getting the genders way back in the alley. See, I was born in the alley. Okay. I went to the alley to go Pearl Alley, right behind the 10th and the Street Library, okay? And, uh, that's where I was born. And they were asking about a birth certificate. I had a midwife who brought me here, and I don't have a birth certificate. I can make my own, okay? The reason why I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this up is there might be some questions that you may ask that I got to, I'm going to do some learning too. So let us have about 10 minutes. So anybody feel like they got to ask something and who can answer it, who will answer it, you know? And just, just, just throw some questions out. What, what is this Moorish movement? What, you know, why do we have a government? Uh, what do you mean when you said the MSTA? What is that organization? And somebody said something about out of the out of the Sunday school come the future leaders, the guidance of the nation. Uh, are y'all saying that the MSTA is like going to kindergarten? So you can spend a period of time in there so that you can be full adults and come out here and start dealing with nation time. Yes, and, you know, I know we have uh, lots of outfits, you know, Moorish and American. We got the Yamazis, we got the Washita's, we got the Zulu. Zulus, so we got the Nuwakians, you know. Uh, uh, is that going to distract us from being Moorish American? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's that kind of thing. And I, I'm trying to just throw out some stuff to try to get you mad so that you can find a point that you need to clear up with yourself with some other people and, and say what it is. So question time. Yes, sir, Grand Chief. What did George G. M. James say? George G. M. James, uh, uh, page 39 and 40. The Moors are custodians of ancient Kenya. They are the keepers. They are the people that brought in the understanding. They are the gods of the Grand Lodge of Luxa. They are the Luxians. They are the hell. They are the Memphis. They are. My son, the Masons, they are the shrine, the shining light. Okay, so uh, you're not imitating them. They're imitating you. Okay, okay. So, it's not. It's not. It's not. Can I help you with another one? That's in the stolen legacy. Right? That's in the stolen legacy. George William James, who died for you and me. He was a Gahana niece, and he came and he was teaching at Little Rock, Arkansas. Pan Bluff, and uh, they killed him. The Europeans did in a Masonic style. They caught him on the end of the road and took his private and put it in his mouth. His arm? His arm. Um, something else, eh? What's the best one? Yes. He gave up the name of all that. He done what he had to do. That was his call. Sometimes our call go further than we think it goes. Okay? I think uh, there's lawyers here, there's school teachers here, there are theologians here. There are people of all different skills. But that's what makes a nation, eh? And then we take every bit of these subject matters and we take them and interact them to our everyday movement mm -hmm. and we raise them up and we call them the culture you know, with our name on it right okay Is that? I think uh, I think I, I hear another thing uh, what about these Indian tribes are some of y'all in it Nah, most some of them know they moors. Okay, they know they moors. Yeah, they, well, let, let's erase this first, brother. First, they got to know some of them hooked on the word Indian. We got to move them 
from that to where we got to go to. Wow. I mean, you got a sub, you got a new sub name, whatever. And at one time, I was similar. Huh? The life taught me that was called Swamp Nigga. Hmm. <laughs> life taught me that. And after I learned that, I decided I'm not similar. That's wow. <laughs> Okay. You know what? It is strange to even talk like this, but I, I won't be truthful to you. And, I, and you know, you sometimes you be talking, you try to make sure you correct yourself. I'm gonna say what I need to say. I'm not gonna play correcting myself for this sake. But in this thought, as I looked at it, I at one time was a black Japanese. You ever seen that happen? Hmm. I was in uh, Tokyo, Yokohama, Tachikawa. My first experience was Suwane Korea, Usani, Young Dung Mo, Suwan. I was looking at the 38 Parallel, hmm. Port Chop Hill. Hmm. I've seen my time, but in the experience, even in the roughest of the time, I had sense enough to know how to duck and be safe. All right. <laughs> I'm saying the same thing to you as you make this move. What do you want to be in the Moorish organization? You see, because you're going to come in to who you are, to where you got to be as you go. Don't get this step, it's okay. I can learn something from you. Tell me about your Cherokee experience. Go on down in Carolina. Get in Geechee Tell me about something in South Carolina. Let me know about Columbia. Take me to Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been to all these places. Boom. Oh yeah, y'all been down to Buford doing y'all shin dun dun dance and stuff. Yeah. That's how I feel good down at Buford somewhere like that, huh? But you traveled to go where you needed to go because you're still trying to fulfill that lost identity. Yes, mm -hmm. When I was a, a child, a baby, a little kid, a teenager, I knew that I was a Negro black in color. Did you do that? Islam. Did you know that you were not a Negro black in color? Way back. You mean I had solid grounds, but you knew something wasn't right. Islam. Islam. And then when you went to school, somewhere in your school days, you had some difficult problems here in Marco Polo with you know what I mean? These names are strange. Today, at my age of Marco Polo, who do you mean? You know, Davis Khan, what? But the strangest thing stuck with me was I heard of Oscar the Great. Why did that name stay with me? Oscar the Great? I remember in 1953 or 54 seeing a picture called The Long Ship. Sidney Poitier, All right. Richard Winmore. Yeah. The first time I've ever heard of more. Of more. Now when I look back, I got excited then, but now I got a lot of criticism about that picture. Mm -hmm. Why was it just one black man did the more? <laughs> 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 They got ways the subliminal to take your mind and yet hypnotize you. All that you doing, the art you teaching, you ain't like this one. Then. You get more acceptance of your art being displayed to Caucasians. Can you do to your own? That's fine. That's fine. Do that. Wow. No, why? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm, I'm not ashamed of your culture. Mm. You still got something built way back in your mind that said that you were savages. I know I, I, know I do. I got it still back there. You were eating each other. You were cannibals and all that kind of stuff. And as time went by, and years have been by, and I lived more time, I found that the savage in the calendar was the Caucasian. Mm-hmm. In practice. Right now. So who's still doing it? Thanks, Ron. Uh, who was that one that had a refrigerator full of uh, 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 bro- brothers and sisters? He got cursed with candy bars and he put them all in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't as strange when they put the dude in the joint. He didn't stay in that three days before they took him in and put him uh, um, um, uh, into the, the funeral uh, wagon and took him out of that. I wonder who was the brother that done him in. I got to take it's something else, ain't it? But it's kept quiet, though, isn't it? Yes. Am I on point? Am I on point to talk about who we are and what we represent as leaders in this community? Mm. Isn't it our responsibility to go because of our Godly call to do what we're supposed to do. But isn't it strange that you got to start in your own house first before you go outside? It's easier to go outside and work with right. the other people than to go into your house with your sons and daughters and grandsons and all. And yet that's where the work's supposed to begin at. Mm. It's supposed to be in, in the house. And 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 the question is, how do you go about teaching your sons and your daughters and your grandson that they are Moorish Americans, that they are not Negro black colors? You know what I thought the other day? The best way to teach this. It's through entertainment. Isn't it strange that you can make jokes and dance and go through the entertainment fulfilling and get some results behind instead of standing up and talking private and personal to somebody on this issue? And there's always one little baby in your family that is already born and made. Okay. That baby can talk to you and hear you say something and walk right off with it and go mm-hmm. and tell the other kids. Those babies are ancestors coming back to revamp this land. And that's what's going on. And you need to know this. You need to hear this to yourself. Because this job is not just all your job. There are babies that y'all got in, the, in your families Mm-hmm. That are already ready to eat that oatmeal. That baby's ready. That baby will ask you a question, and you supposed to be taking care of that All baby. Right. But you over here in on, somebody bro. jump and and talk to some people that don't even want to listen to you. But the little baby is crying to be fed. Isn't it important for us to watch as well as listen to know who is ready to grow? That's the thing I wanted to say because the value of a nation, the value of a nation is that that nation has learned to know who that nation is and not play it all over the board and lose out on the real significance as being a mortionary. I it's just something else to me. It's, it's hard for me. I just try to explain what I know the best that I would do, but I have respect for everybody in here <laughs> to recognize you got your story too. 
I'm just trying to talk to bring uh, uh, bring bring something up from the bottom to the top so you can have it in your head. That's all. But I know that you already know because you, you've been having some religious problems too, ain't you? Mm. You keep on sin. Is that such word? Is subliminally? Where you become subliminal? Uh, you know, I, 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 I just don't know. It's like I'm almost in a world of my own now. I keep looking at the picture slick and I can't, I can't have it. But at the same time, I'm saying, is this trying to take everything I got? Is this picture that I got hanging up on this wall in around my family? My, my, my grandson, Chris, my daughter, y'all know that in California, uh, my grandson said, when did he get in our family? I <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, got that thing, I'm like, off the wall. <laughs> That's my third little grandson. And you, you can't want to know, when did he get in there? He don't look like us. <laughs> That's right. And if a baby can say that, what we grown people go through? Wow. The thing is, they come to work no better. But no, they got us feeling that you do wrong if you take it down. You go to hell. You're going to destroy. If you take that picture down, you're going to hell. You're already in hell. Put it up. <laughs> Are you going to buy him for putting you into the bondage? Why are you praying to him? With this kind of thought today, you have allowed me, really, to say some things I need to say. May the Lord bless you. I mean, is that the word Lord mean ruler? Mm. I would prefer for you to submit the ruler, bless me, still send the Lord. Because you get a King James uh, a felon on me, okay? Right. You, you see what I'm saying? And he said, did you see the angels? The first thing come out of my mind, I seen some, some little Caucasian with wings. <laughs> Why do I? I didn't know that y'all was angels. Nobody ever told me y'all was angels that y'all could be. Mm. Angels is a messenger, right? It's in the world, right? Mm. Angels are messengers. And what do they look like? What do they look like? Olive color, didn't they? Mm. Well, olive, a green one or a black one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't mean no harm. I just have to do this because I know you've already seen all this stuff. So, so I'm, I'm just relaying this to you as I know you would see it. But to try to end it up for you to say, did you know I got something? Did you know he knew this? Because I don't understand. You pick up that book or where it's about. Immediately you pick it up. You know, you open it up. You are in your. How can you be in your with that Bible? There's no. It starts where? Where did it start at? Where did Easter Eve at? I mean, y'all been reading all this stuff. You know, or how y'all reading this stuff? Literary? Allegorical? Metaphorical, you know, I'm just learning this stuff. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> when they taught me in school, everything was literal. Everything was physical. It wasn't no metaphysical understanding. Everything was physical. When you said to go in the Eden, I looked for Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I'm trying to say? When, when you told me that was Adam and Eve, I looked for two Caucasians. Because that's what I've seen in the book, right? Yes, not. Two Caucasians in Africa. That's true. Is a joke on me? <laughs> on me. Two Caucasians in Africa with fig leaves on. <laughs> <laughs> and they still doing it. Yes. They still got Sunday school going and they still doing it. 
But we are odd people here. What makes us so odd? Oh, it's because it's just a few of us. Y'all can get busy then, aren't you? Because this stuff is political, isn't it? It's not. Mm-hmm. This is political. If y'all don't come up with a massive number of come on, people, come on. y'all not going to show that y'all got the power. They've been at work a long time. How long we've been laying off the job? Mm. Okay? Where's the writers at around here? Who are the writers? Uh, why some books not being published? Working I come on and see some books out here so other people can see them. The prophet said you need to start reading your own literature. Uh-huh. I want you to walk out of here today with one thing in mind, and, and that is the seriousness of education. You can have a wrong education and become stupid. You can have a right education and lift you up. Are you being educated <coughs> for where you're supposed to be going? Are you taking information for where you're not going at? So that's where I'm at right here, right now. This movement, this understanding, this national movement is called nation time. It's time for everything else to be set aside and more input be placed on the science of nationality. How do somebody else give you a, a birth certificate? How is it that a mother bring a child in the world and a nurse come up and tell you who it is? Something wrong about something like that. What gives you the authority for you to tell me who I brought in the world. Is it that we haven't been saying anything? And because we have not spoken up, they've done whatever they want to do with us? See, a lot of this slavery is that it's called volunteer slavery. It's the only way to be a slave. We have volunteered a lot in this of our own. But now that you know better, you won't volunteer so easy, will you? That's what it means, talk about being a moor. A moor will not let you put Negro, Black, or color on this piece of paper. A moor got sense enough to read and know what you're negotiating because he knows law. He knows history. He knows exactly where he comes from exactly. and where he's getting ready to go and how to take care of himself. He's intelligent. I hope that word get out. Exactly. He's intelligent. And that's what we got to be. And we will defend our nation by being intelligent. Thank you. So that's why I was telling you, oh yes, you love us doing the martial art, the, the, the physical defense. What about that psychic defense? If you're that good, you don't have to put them geese on. You don't have to have it at all. Why? Because it's already in your mind. But to cultivate your mind more, to be programmed, you put on your geese to fit you psychologically in tight with the program. I found yesterday in the day I couldn't put mines on. They done got too old. They done got yellow. <laughs> I believe if I put them on, I think it'll tear up. The material done got rotten. <laughs> and, and I'm looking at them and I said, you outgrown those years. <coughs> Watch magic. You, you, don't, you don't have that to wear today. You best to put on your suit. Yesterday I had my sweatsuit on. I couldn't keep it up on Now what is going on? You said have hips and all this stuff. Everything's straight down now. But see what I did realize is. Thanks for another day. 
Lord. Yes, sir. Be about my business. And thank all of y'all for letting me and supporting me so I can't go about business. Without you, I have no business. And I got sense enough to know that. And I want to thank you. And I want you to understand, it's not all about me. It's about a we. A we can't do nothing. But a we can do a whole lot. Okay? So do, do one thing for me if you're doing a thing. Learn Act 2. Learn. Learn Act 5. Please learn Act 5. Because you'll be agitating until you destroy a nation. I don't need loose lips to sink ships. Okay? Okay? You got a dangerous mouth. You will destroy a nation with your ego. Keep your ego in your pocket and help the nation to be a nation because it's too for real. Them babies need a new world to live in. At this time, I can only say it to you, thank you very much. I don't even, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm just going to express myself. I, I don't even want to go into a prayer because a prayer to me is meditation in behalf of what I want to say. I know who I am. I know what I'm going to do. And I know there was one before me that gave me the example to do it better, rather than he done. For my time. Without his time, I couldn't have had a time to be better than that time. But it's my time now. I'll look at the past, but I'll take the past and bring it to the future. Okay? Okay? I respect the past. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you walking out. Uh, you don't have, uh, you don't care for profit. No, I didn't say that. I want to make it clear to you right now. No prophet, no but Drew Ali can also be Hannibal. Prophet no but Drew Ali can also be Shaka Zulu. All these personalities came in forms of other personalities as time came by. I too am Shaka Zulu. I too is, uh, is Prophet no but Drew Ali. I too. What I'm saying, reincarnation, what I'm saying, resurrection. Oh, yeah, I'm talking some new words that you ain't hear too much of because slaves don't talk these words. Reincarnation, resurrection. I ain't put nobody down. When I took on what they done, I showed honor. It's not. I don't have to talk it out of my mouth. Actually, it speaks louder than words my mother said to me. I said, Mama, I love you. She said, yeah, Julie, I know. I, I know about what you do. Actions speak louder than words. I'm saying to you, let's, let's, from this day on, let's act. But do me one big favor. Don't crush nobody. If you can't lift them up, leave them alone. Don't be walking around putting nobody down. This is nation time. Okay? Share what you got. If a person can show appreciation, give more. But don't put them down. <clears throat> don't put them down. Is that what peace means? Mm -hmm. Mama said peace means pe peace passes all understanding. I leave you with peace. I thank you with peace. It's on. Before we uh, leave out, I have a small special gift for the Grand Marquis, which is the Japanese mon that I have here from the martial arts that I belong to. So, Grand Marquis, if you're a fellow, sir, I'd be more than honored to present uh, this to you. I thought he invested in me by messing with his hour show I present you with a lot of show. Thank Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate all my sons and daughters. Because 
as this young man is coming to present me, that is those that have already presented to me. I will put this patch with my collection. But at the same time, I just want all of y'all to grow. All of y'all to be leaders. Take your I think that the other thing bothered me was take your section of town wherever you at. Oh yeah, I'm the grand moti, the grand sheik, the governor. Get your stuff going. You want to talk to me, we talk. I am not a panhand ruler. I don't care where you got a temple going at. Get it going. All I said, power to you, raise the people, and let's get it on. Yeah. 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 Sister Branch, you can hear that, please.